Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah and this is Be Fly Beauty and today I wanted to start a travel series. Now, my boyfriend and I went on a very quick weekend trip to Corpus recently and there were a couple things that I brought for the hotel and I thought, oh my gosh, I have to share this. So if you are not like me and you are not really particular about your sleep and where you stay and your comfort, this might not be for you. But for those of you that are kind of particular and want the best day possible, I just have a few interesting little tips and things that you can bring with you to the hotel and it's not gonna take a lot of stuff or it's not gonna take a lot of space up in your bag, but it's really gonna help make your stay really comfy and give you the best night's sleep. I wanna also say my hair is not greasy, it is wet. I was trying to get it to dry before this video and it just did not happen. Okay, so first things first. Now, I have something to represent this. This is way bigger than I think you need, obviously. Um, I would recommend one of the small, very small washi tapes or an electrical tape or maybe just bring a little bit of painter's tape um, but it really should be something that fits in the palm of your hand very small and round um, but i just thought i would show you so that i had something to show um, tape to cover the lights on the vcr dvd tv um, any electronics in the room that shine that light on you that normally wouldn't be in your room if you are at home, um, sometimes the alarm clock is really bright. I always turn those around, put a pillow over it. Um, but like the really tiny lights, instead of getting up in the middle of the night and throwing a pillow or a jacket over it, just go through and put a little bit of washi tape or electrical tape. And uh, yeah, super easy, super light to carry in your bag. I also wanna say that um, some of these things you might not want to take like on an airplane if you're really looking for space in your bag, but there might be a way to make it happen. And for me, after I did this this past weekend, I think it's gonna be something that I bring with me no matter where I go. Okay, so you might not be the kind of person that needs a super dark room to sleep, even though research shows it is much better for you, and I personally need that. Um, but sometimes the curtains just don't stay closed, uh, for privacy's sake, right? It might not be for sleep, but it might be for privacy, or you might wanna, um, uh, clip them back and keep them open. Um, we don't always get to maneuver and manipulate the curtains and blinds like we would like. And so I recommend bringing a few clothespins. Barely take up any room. So far, all of these things will fit in the palm of my hand. Um, this one we did not bring with us and I wish we would have. And I was like, okay, I'm putting that on the list. Um, we are putting crap in front of the windows. I mean, just light was coming in from wherever. And it depends on like what side of the hotel are you on? The north, the south, the east, the west side. We were on the side where the sun just comes directly into our room. So definitely gonna be bringing clothespins next time to manipulate curtains and other things um, in the room. If you are a bath lover like myself, I highly recommend these two things. Um, now this one I've talked about in the past. This goes over the overflow metal piece in the bathtub. Uh, so it gives you a few more inches of water space. Uh, I'm a curvier person and I need more water. So this goes on that and then it gives you, it still has an overflow hole, but it gives you like at least two more inches of water. Along with that is a plug for the tub. Sometimes they don't work very well and you get like two inches of water. Um, I really can't sleep very well if I don't take a bath. And so these two things together are miracle workers. So don't make fun of me, but this is the last thing. Now, before Freddie moved in, I did not have an issue with this. I did grow up with a fan and white noise and breeziness in the room, especially when I stayed with my grandma, but I kind of got away from that until Freddie moved in. Now I can't sleep without the fan on. I need it super cold in the room. And recently we stayed at a hotel uh, one of the, a, a couple times ago when we went somewhere, the hotel was just really, really hot. The air would not get cold and it was a really high end hotel as well. So it was a little disappointing. I was like, man, I just wish we had a fan with us. So I recommend bringing a little fan. Now this is a tiny, tiny fan. It looks big on camera, um, but like this is my hand. This is the fan head. Um, I got this at an estate sale for four bucks. We brought it with us and it's kind of loud, which I like. So it covered the noises that might keep me from sleeping in a hotel, 
but it also created that white noise and the cool breeze that we need, especially if the air is not working. Now this one might be the hardest to bring overseas or like on an airplane ride. You know, we just did a short three hour drive away. Um, but if you were to bring something like this, you would have to, you know, use up a lot of suitcase space. So I thought, you know that there are those little fans, the little tiny fans that you can like, they're even sticky at the bottom sometimes. You can stick them on your dash in the car. Um, I think they might even be like six inches tall. That might be something a little better to take in the suitcase for a longer trip, unless you are like me and I am willing to uh, use the space up for this. <laughs> I don't know if they would let you take that. But you know, let me know if you know. Can I take that in a suitcase? Would they stop me? I mean, I don't know why they would stop me. Anyway, so those are a few things that I think will make your stay way more comfortable. Let me know if you have anything to add to the list and I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching guys. Bye.